Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Air Force in. Uh, today I'll be reading for the collective. Hey collective, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell uh, to book a private reading with me or shop in my store. All that information is in the description box below. All right, so last night's uh, channel message was a bit disturbing. Um, it was actually very disturbing, to be honest with you. Uh, spirit took me to the grave. And there were at least like 10 open plots, like grave sites, grave plots were opened. And they all had that, like, you know, when somebody is, they're preparing to put somebody in the ground, they set it up, uh like with the machine and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I had to, I, I, I had to endure the screaming, the crying, the shrills, the why, why me? Like I heard all of that. I heard all of that. A lot of family members are going to be passing. I kept, I kept saying it, but they, they showed me the moon. Things are being revealed, so it may have started to happen. Um, some were elderly, some were kids, some were newborn. It was just a lot to process a lot because it was just back to 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 back like like this person is going to be exhausted because that's how I felt to be honest I actually had to ground myself when I wake up this morning because the energy was so heavy it was so intense the, the, the energy of death was so intense even seasoned spiritualist like myself like i had to catch myself like dang this shit like this shit about to go all like all the way left all the way left <sighs> the tower is here i kept saying it and nobody was listening nobody was listening hmm Mm. it's hard to explain because the it's like I, I i had chills like spirit was like come on let's go I'm like all right we'll be going this time it took me to a uh, a funeral or cemetery where they had many different plots open there were at least 10 open I'm talk about somebody passed yesterday, somebody passed today, two may pass today, three may pass. Uh, I, I, I mean, it's quick, it's quick, it's like a whoosh, like a something just coming in, just collecting, like like the Grim Reaper on a in a motorcycle, right? It has a bag. And just coming and just collecting, have all just collecting, just coming and just scooping up and collecting. And as they're running, they're running and they're screaming because they know their fate. They can't, they can't hide or they can't run from their fate. So the Grim Reaper, as we sat back and watched, the Grim Reaper took over the show, took over the show, and then he just started swooping down and just start, and you kept hearing um, bumps and bangs and and. Boop and doop and all kind of like it, it, it just some people are just dropping like they you know you and I could be having a conversation and all of a sudden somebody just drop I saw strokes I saw heart attacks I saw gunshots I saw car accidents I saw four four pile six pile eight pile trucks I I, I mean I, I I saw it all I saw it in 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 
the way that the, the, the demise just kept showing to me. I'm like, I even had to tell Spirit, like, whoa, slow down. And Spirit was like, no, we can't slow down. Like this, this is like a, a momentum. It's like a, it's like a snowball effect. It, it's, it's just like, once it begins, it's not going to stop until it stops, until it ends, until it does what it needs to do. And, um, it's coming in very quick, fast, in a hurry. The wall protection. There's no protection for these individuals. None whatsoever. I'm talking about mothers, grandmothers, grandfathers, cousins, aunts, uncles. I mean, siblings, sisters, brothers. Like, it was just like a slew of people just being taken by the Grim Reaper. Like, okay, your time's up. It's time to go. And people is just. They're running, they're running away from the karma. They can sense it, they can feel something is about to happen. They just don't know when or how it's going to happen. And I feel like that also built the anticipation of this fear for these people that are actually going through this detrimental karma. But I'm telling you, like I kept saying, I kept telling you guys, I said that they not, it's, it's gonna be a totally, completely new different, different person completely different person imagine all of your the people that you love and, and cherish and adore and truly like hold high honor and respect and high regards for just being taken from you just like that like this person is going to need they're going to need to find the strength I don't know where they're going, where they're going, they're going to need, they're going to need to find the strength. They're going to need it. They're going to need it. All I kept hearing was, why, 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 why me, why, 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 why me, why me? That's all I kept hearing. Why me? Why didn't y'all think about that before y'all did what y'all did to the collective? Why didn't y'all think about what y'all did when y'all put the collective through some very unnecessary, tumultuous experiences or situations? You didn't think about any of that. You didn't think any of that. You didn't take the time to think, oh, well, you know what? This person is hurting or maybe this person is hurting. Maybe I should stop. No. You thought it was cool. You thought it was funny. You thought that by... <laughs> you thought by taunting and attempting to harm someone that hasn't done anything to you, you thought that was the norm. You thought that was good. But look, the spirit and journey is here. <sighs> The journey is over. Time is up. Time is up. All this partying and favors and laughing and giggles and hee hees and ha ha's, it's over. I mean, it's to the point where the funeral director is going to be so blown away, flabbergasted by how many people are coming from the same entity, family. They, they, what, what, what's going on? What, what happened? Like, they're even going to start to question. Like, all of the, all of your family members just passing away like this. I'm hearing a lot of cousins, a lot of cousins, especially little ones. Oh goodness gracious! Mm, mm, mm. To having to be the bearer of bad news about a death. And it's not even a death, it's numerous, it's copious death. Deaths here is just, I don't even know what to say. Like people were warned and people didn't take heed to the warning here. Now changes are coming. It's just going to spread like wildfire. I don't know how people, how do you, how do you expect people to, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're going to be suffering in silence. Some won't be homeless. 
you might actually see some like end up on the streets because of the, the, the many casualties of family. I keep hearing family. I keep hearing family and I keep hearing um, we're coming for the ones you love, you adore. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Someone may drive themselves to drink. They're very sneaky. Someone is very aware of what's going on. They're very aware exactly what's going on here. They're pretending. They're truly aware of what's getting ready to come or what's happening because everybody's in their you know different um different parts of the story here this person's in dark energy they're going to try everything possible to try to escape that you may actually receive a call or some kind of communication from this person asking for help or asking for some forgiveness here fears I'm telling you, people are going to start dropping like flies. <sighs> people are going to start dropping like flies. Like, I literally saw Eight of Swords in Judgment. I literally saw, like, the Spirit literally took me to a grave site. A cemetery and there were at least 10 plots open like ready to bury individuals they had small caskets they had medium size they had oversized they had long ones there are many different casket sizes and I'm telling you with this here the eight of swords and the judgment here somebody's gonna feel very trapped they're gonna feel very helpless because a lot of their ones that they love and they adore they're just dropping like flies. They're just passing away here. Mm. The devil. Mm. I might feel trapped. Or they're going to feel trapped. Mm. That's, I don't even, that's crazy. End of conflict is a five of swords, and then we have the ten of swords as well, too. Yeah, they want to hit rock bottom here. But it's going to end the conflict. The conflict that they have been pushing onto you for years is going to end the conflict. It's maybe not in a way that you anticipated, or you may have hoped, or you may have wanted to happen, but this is, this is death. This is I think we're in Pisces, we're in Pisces season, and Pisces is the 12th house, 12th house rules the subconscious here. Um, and 12th is the end, it's the ending of the houses after 12th goes back to the first house. Um, which significant, signif signif I can't even say, <laughs> signifies um, new things being grown. So like spring, okay? Pisces start off with spring, it's the spring season here. And um, a lot of old things have to be buried, literally and figuratively, for new things to come about. And, like, I'm really trying to be as... Mm, mm, I don't even know how to put it into words. I don't know how to put it into words. The hangman, it's like... I, And it's all for money. That's that's all this is about. It's all for money. Now people are losing their loved ones because someone made a bad decision in regards to money. They're greedy for money here. I'm telling you, justice and the two of swords. Someone was so dishonest. They were very dishonest here. It was about money. They lost their job. They're losing a lot. They're very lazy. They want to ride the backs of other people here. Yeah, this is um, this ain't this ain't a good look. Mm -hmm. We have ten of wands. This also signifies death as well too.
someone's personal belief is going to change drastically. To know that someone To know all of this is happening because you decide to bother someone and then more so with the, because this, this is all from spell work, backfire spell work, that they refuse to let go. So they're even still doing this as I'm speaking to you. They're still doing spell work. It's like a crazy obsession that they have with you that they feel like, okay, I have to keep doing this spell work. I have to keep doing this candle work because is going to work some way somehow so someone is um it feels like with um i lost my train of thought maybe it was best for me not to say that because i lost my train of thought yeah okay eight of cups can't let go they can't let go of the idea that this candle work is working or is soon to work it's to the point where they're becoming delirious or very delusional in how they see life like they, they i have to i have to it's working it's working or it's soon to work like this person is on they're they're insane this is this is insanity doing the same thing over and over and over with no results is insanity the Knight of Cups is in reverse. This person is a full-blown troublemaker here. Full-blown troublemaker here. It's sad. And to know we have Awaken here and then Sacred Space and then releases in reverse. To to know or to, to live, having to live with the outcome that because you did so much spell work, so much backfire spell work, that it poured into your family, into your bloodline. That's blood on your hands. I I, don't, I wouldn't know how to. Mm. Someone could be easily distracted here, but yeah, attraction is in reverse. They're, they're, they refuse to release this. They refuse to release this one-sided competition that they have within their head. That like they just feel like they can beat you, and continues in reverse is in reverse. So the more they do this, is just the more that they really truly are destroying themselves here, and they don't realize it. Mm, it's crazy. They don't realize that. Yeah, it's a lot of cleansing that's coming. It's I, I'm telling you, the Grim Reaper is just coming and just cleansing out a lot of stuff here. And lot that a lot of people can't handle. You saying? And just they have to prepare. Could be dealing with a Gemini, a Capricorn, or a Libra. October 16th. So I keep hearing October 16th. I think that's Libra. I, I, yeah, I keep hearing October 16th. Yeah, that keeps popping out for me. So that could be somebody's birthday or 10 16. It could be the time on the clock. That could be someone's angel number or it could be a message. Look it up. 10 16 as an angel number. Here in mail, plus five. Three plus two equals five. Where is it at? Three plus two is five. Yeah, some changes. And it's not being imagined. It's actually going to happen. Or it is happening in the 3D. In front of everyone to see. So imagine someone that was on top of their so-called game. But the way that they got to the top was um, very unlawful. They stepped on other people's backs to, to get ahead. And um, people didn't see that part. But to see just... Uh, how this person thought that they were on top and now they're at the bottom and everyone is seeing it is going to drive this person insane because this person is wanting to keep up with the Joneses here and when they realize that keeping up with the Joneses has failed or will fail they, they don't know what to do the world is in reverse they don't play by the book either 
All right, I'm gonna stop right there. Jupiter in Virgo in the fifth house. This is Venus in Cancer in the ninth house. And we have uh, Uranus. That's Uranus, eighth house, Sagittarius. Okay. Then we have Leo. We have Aquarius, Pisces, and Libra. If that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Until next time, peace.